Greetings, and welcome to Arcana Analysis, where we invite you into the Velvet Room to unlock the secrets of the Arcanum and the bonds they encompass. For our first episode of Arcana Analysis, we'll be exploring the Magician Arcana. The Magician is the second card in the Major Arcanum, bearing the Roman numeral 1 and immediately following the Fool. Within a tarot reading, the Magician is generally a positive omen, symbolizing energy, ability, and potential action. Directly following the Fool, it is highly associated with the beginnings of actions. The Magician reminds us that we have power over our own lives and the tools we need to succeed. It is overflowing with energy and urges us to move towards our goals rather than stagnate. Within the Persona series, characters bearing the Magician Arcana are often prominent best friends or right-hand men to the protagonist. They tend to appear very early in the game and remain important throughout the story. Magicians are bursting with energy and potential. However, they often start from a place of immaturity and arrogance. Despite these initial flaws, magicians often have very solid character growth and development throughout their games. We often see magicians slowly mature as the story progresses and become well-rounded and competent people by the end. Magicians have a tendency to spend a bit too much time staring at women or trying their hands at playing Casanova. Despite the fact that the Magician Arcana denotes good fortune in blooming romance, characters of this arcana often face disaster and tragedy in their romantic or social lives. These problems tend to be central to the plot of the games. Next we will look at characters aligned under the Magician Arcana. Spoilers for major plot events and social links will follow. Kenji Tomochika is the original Magician social link of Persona 3, and a bit of a nut. Stick with us though, there are more likable Magician boys to come. Kenji is immediately friendly towards the main character, inviting him out at the drop of a hat and sizing him up as a wingman. Kenji opens up to the protagonist remarkably early in his link. Of course, what he's opening up about is his aspiration to date his teacher. Things don't end well for Kenji. He manages to misinterpret his teacher's actions to a startling degree, believing them to be in a relationship when in fact she was only giving him extra lessons and is actually engaged to someone else. The events of his link line right up with the magician's trend of relationship failures. The teacher in question, Emery, is the focus of the link from beginning to end. Though Kenji's desires are questionable at best, he still goes through a respectable amount of growth during his link. We watch as he changes from a bit of a slacker to a determined person who keeps his future in mind and legitimately wants to better himself. Even if this change is initially spurred by wanting to better himself for Emery, he retains the lessons even after he learns the truth. By the end of his link, Kenji has put serious thought into his future, and has matured quite a bit. He even tends to worry about the protagonist as well, often urging you to work towards your goals. Junpei Yori's persona, Hermes, is of the Magician Arcana type. Junpei himself also returns as the Magician Social Link in the female protagonist route in Persona 3 Portable. Although Junpei struggles with his feelings towards the protagonist, he is the closest thing to your best friend within Cease. Junpei is excitable and full of energy. He is unafraid to act and generally optimistic. He is more than happy to join Cease and of the initial members, looks the most forward to exploring Tartarus and the Dark Hour. This is because Junpei uses his participation in Cease to stave off his inferiority complex and grant himself worth. However, the protagonist's presence undercuts this, as Junpei sees Minato as superior to him. Junpei stews in a growing jealousy over this until roughly halfway through the game, reaching its peak around the Love Hotel Full Moon mission. Despite his aggression, Junpei is able to realize the injustice in his actions and straight out apologizes to the protagonist. This is a major turning point, as he becomes more thoughtful and moves into his next arc. During the second half of the game, Junpei's character progression is highly tied with Chidori, one of the members of Strega. His feelings for her are blatantly romantic, and all of his interactions with her lack the usual perverted behavior seen with characters like Yukari. Instead, Junpei approaches Chidori with nothing but pure intentions. He genuinely wants to get to know her better, and even goes so far as to aggrandize himself to impress her. However, after being found out, he becomes incredibly earnest and spends as much time as he can with her. Throughout his link in Persona 3 Portable, Junpei opens up to the protagonist about his life, as well as his personal philosophy. Junpei confesses that his father is an alcoholic, and has been rather abusive to him as a result. 
As the link continues, Junpei discusses his concerns about the future, having no real plans or marketable skills to make use of in the coming years. The more the protagonist gets to know Junpei, the more she learns about his true self, how he worries about the future, but tries to ignore those problems by playing up his cool and fun-loving persona, if you'll excuse the pun. By the end of the link, Junpei realizes that being serious and facing your issues head-on isn't a bad thing, and that he can do a lot more good if he actually applies himself. In Persona 4, the Magician Arcana is represented by Yosuke Hanamura, an energetic classmate that the protagonist meets on his first day of school. After a few scenes of being kicked around by Chie, Yosuke quickly takes a shine to the player. The two become one of the closest protagonist and best friend duos in the series. Yosuke can immediately relate to the main character. He also moved to Inaba from a big city. However, Yosuke's transition wasn't as smooth as yours. He moved with his father, the manager of the local Juness branch. Because of Yosuke's connection and employment at the mom-and-pop destroying megalith, many of the residents of Inaba carry a slight grudge against him. This caused Yosuke to face many social setbacks, and ultimately construct his cheerful and friendly facade in a desperate attempt to be accepted by the people around him. In truth, Yosuke rejected Inaba just as much as it rejected him. He felt trapped in a boring country town where nothing ever happened, and considered Saki's death and the investigation team's discovery of the TV world an excuse to have an adventure. But despite these feelings, Yosuke did legitimately care about Saki. He was very fond of her, and hoped that they could be more than just friends. Even when the TV world revealed her true inner feelings and thoughts, Yosuke didn't hold Saki's anger against her. He understood and accepted it, and allowed her to become a driving force in his search for the killer. Like Junpei, Yosuke uses his search for the murderer to validate himself and envies the protagonist. However, Yosuke places much more importance on facing these feelings despite being ashamed of them. He fully admits his jealousy to the player, and after a fistfight of friendship, he resolves to live a life free of self-deceit. Despite Yosuke's perverted schemes and seemingly permanent position as the butt of the joke, he is a person who deeply cares about the people in his life. He treasures his place in the investigation team, and takes what he learns over the year in game to heart, growing greatly because of it. Persona 5's Magician Arcana is represented by the protagonist's fuzzy feline friend, Morgana. This bedtime enthusiast joins a party early on in the game, acting as the group's navigator, as well as their mentor in the field of phantom thievery. Morgana taking on this role is quite intentional, as he gains immense satisfaction from being an essential member of the phantom thieves. Without his navigational skills, Morgana feels as though he has nothing else to offer to the thieves, and these fears only build as the game progresses. Morgana's appearance also plays an important role in building up this inferiority complex. For the majority of the game, it is unknown why Morgana looks like a cat, yet can speak and use a persona like the rest of the thieves. He believes himself to be a human who was transformed into a cat, yet lacks any memories to support these beliefs. With most of his recollection missing, Morgana feels incomplete and directionless, despite all of his efforts to reclaim this identity by transcending through mementos. Morgana's desire to be human also ties in with his affection towards An. This is likely spurred by An's thief outfit, but remains consistent throughout the game. His relationship with An is mostly one-sided, and while his feelings are never reciprocated, this magician manages to avoid any major romantic tragedy. Around halfway through the game, when Futaba joins the party and exhibits remarkable skills as a navigator, Morgana's fears and insecurities finally overflow causing him to separate from the rest of the thieves and attempt to steal Okamura's heart by himself. Through this bold and overall reckless move, Morgana hopes to prove his worth not only to the thieves, but to himself as well. When he is ultimately unable to accomplish his task, he forms a partnership with Haru Okamura that is not unlike the one he made with the thieves at the start of the game. While Morgana does care for Haru, his role as her mentor works to satiate his desire to be needed. Inevitably, the two groups converge and Morgana confesses his feelings. Thanks to the support of his fellow thieves, Morgana learns that he doesn't need to prove his worth to be part of their team, and that he'll always belong, no matter what. With that, we conclude our journey through the Magician Arcana. While the members of this Arcana have been shown to be quite immature, reckless, and oftentimes perverse, they all hold the potential to grow and become much more mature people. This growth may be influenced by those around them, 
but it is ultimately up to the individual to make that personal change. If they are given the right time and circumstance, any magician can flourish. We hope you've enjoyed your stay with us in the Velvet Room. We look forward to seeing you again. Until then, we bid you adieu.